I want to talk about Canadian Natural because you you started. Um, I'm going to make sure I get my notes right. You started with the Horizon Oil Sands. That was your first introduction, mm-hmm. to basically, to Canadian Natural. And even that, over over the last over the years, I mean, they've in in uh, in reduction and things like that. They've really excelled. Can you can you sort of touch on that as sort of what you've seen um, over over the years with specifically with the Horizon? So, you know, I had the privilege, of course, being uh, with it from literally the very beginning. I was the second employee with Canadian Natural for the Horizon Project. And um, what a lot of people don't realize, uh, you know, Horizon is we as a company actually have four carbon capture and something facilities at Horizon. We have a carbon capture uh, for our hydrogen plant and the um, C- uh CO2 is actually used in the tailings process. Um, we developed that process, the design for that, in about 2003. And um, so that kind of vision for footprint reduction, for capturing CO2, um, and why did we do that? Because CO2, when it's added, um, it was actually the, the we needed to um, addressed the pH in, in our water, and CO2 was a, a waste product that we could capture and actually use there cheaper than any other um, reagent that would do that for us. Mm-hmm. And so that whole philosophy around design of, of, um, of capturing waste and using them from something else, so we're, you know, waste to valuable products, is a is is a very important component. Now, what that has done, multiplied many times over over many things, is our operating costs. For example, were in the range of thirty four dollars um, Canadian uh, a barrel. Now we're twenty and and or less. Um, in that same time, our greenhouse gas footprint went from a thirty eight percent reduction from when we started to now. So it's 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 always looking at how can you do things better. Um, obviously, there's the impression that these things are externally imposed, and certainly the environment that you're in um, can help accelerate those 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 kinds of things. But just doing business well, and I think that that's what often isn't understood in that reputation of Canadian industry, mm. is is that link between footprint reduction. And cost reduction are, are are direct. They 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 go in 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 parallel, um, and so it's really important to realize that. And I think that's a leadership role that Canada often that Canada often takes. Canadian Natural certainly takes, and many of those things are they're not isolated to Canadian Natural because we actually work collaboratively inside of the. Um, Canada's Oil Sands Innovation Alliance, for example, and, and many other collaborative groups. So CRIN isn't the first, isn't the first. There are actually many collaborative groups, PTAC on the conventional side of things, Petroleum Tech Technology, Petroleum Technology Alliance of Canada. Same thing, you know, this this um, very rich collaborative community and history of that. So as we innovate inside of our companies. Um, that innovation is often shared and adopted by others, which as the sector then reduces our footprint as a sector, re- makes us more competitive as a sector in Canada versus other other countries as, as a whole. But that progression is, is really important. So Horizon is one version of that. The exact same thing happens at Aldian. The exact same thing happens in our thermal groups. The exact same thing happens in our offshore. The exact same thing happens in our in our conventional area. So it's very much the DNA of, of the company to, um, to always look, how can you be better tomorrow than you are today? But with that um, absolute vision of... Uh, you know, reducing costs, reducing footprint, ensuring that people are safe. Um, it's very much an integrated package. 